what's going on? Uh, welcome back. What I'm going to do today is I'm going to the same spot I was catching the pickerels. I'm going to try there. Then I'm going to head over to another lake, possibly try to get uh, my permit today also for 4x4 four four fishing. Today's going to be a freshwater day. So let's see how that all works out. Got my uh, ultralight rod right here. Let's see how it all works out. See my friend across the way over there. I want to start making my way over towards that other, other area. Wow, so they're actually stocking it today, huh? You guys want to see how they stock the fish? Oh, those are pretty nice sized browns. Dump them all in there. Heavy, so we're gonna go right over. Can you hand? Can I grab this? Alrighty, so that was pretty cool. We got to see a little uh, live stocking event, but anyway, I'm gonna uh, catch up with my friend over here and then turn back on the camera a little bit. So they just stocked and I'm walking back bunch of people in here fishing the spot. Did any? Oh, they're jumping right here now. They're starting to spread out, I feel like. Might have to put on something shinier. Seems like that's, that's what they want right now. Switched over to a classic rooster tail. See if that works. The yellow ones always work well for me. I'll get a little more distance with this too, probably. Maybe. Oh yeah, fish on first first rooster tail cast. <laughs> yeah, they wanted something shinier. 100%. Oh, he's off. Perfect. Fish on. go perfect
a shower. <laughs> This guy feels a little stronger. He's pulling a lot of drag. Nice. Oh, is it a rainbow? Oh, wow. That's a big one. That's awesome. Whoa, this thing's huge. Oh, it's a brown, big brown. Oh, that guy's casting over here. He's getting far. Oh, fish on again. Sorry, you always gotta keep that away. <laughs> Caught a little uh, cat's tail thingy. Another big guy. <laughs> Feels like it. Oh wow, he's really pulling drag. It's awesome. Uh, these are all really nice, a lot of these. Definitely the prettiest fish too around. There he goes. Just catch him on. Uh, I was actually using a Kai Tech, those the little two inch uh, swim, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. the 116th ounce jig head with this two inch easy shiner. Right. Trying to bounce him off the bottom, you know? Yeah, yeah. Sean. Nice. You got to the tail on? Yeah, it's been working awesome. Like, I'm gonna tighten my drag up a little. Holy cow, this guy's really running. These guys fight really good. <laughs> it's awesome. Almost tempted to keep one for dinner. This might be the one to keep if anything. Oh, yeah, yeah. All right, he's coming home. He's coming home, this guy. All right, so I'm keeping one to eat. Gonna use my bag as a uh, anchor for this. It's gonna be crowded tomorrow, probably. Oh, yeah, it gets gonna get crazy. I think I'm gonna call it. I'll take those two and call it, I think. Maybe I'll do another, try to get another one. Let's see. Oh yeah, got one. <laughs> there you go. Feels smaller, this guy. You never know, though. Could be a rainbow. Yeah, it's a rainbow, I think. Or a smaller brown, probably. I feel like the rainbows really don't hit the lures as much. I, I used to catch a lot of rainbows drifting little eggs, like the salmon eggs. Oh, yeah. yeah, this guy's too small to keep. I go up to Pulaski, uh, oh, that's awesome. I want to do that. Steelheads. Salmon, yeah. forget it. Steelheads. Oh, my God. That's what I want to try. 18-pound fish and all on 8-pound salmon. Yeah, that's crazy. That's awesome. But all on salmon. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I, gotta ch I want to definitely... Salmon, no salmon, but steelheads. 
cold, all right. There we go. Oh, that guy's back, so I'll just keep that other guy. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, he's dying, so I'll let this guy go and then keep the other guy. Try to get him. So this is this guy. Let's see if I can get this guy. This is gonna be fun. <laughs> He's, he pro he's probably gonna die anyway, so I might as, might as well just keep him. I got my three now. Yeah. Sean. Guys are pretty fast. He's going once. Monster. Holy cow. Is that a trout? Yeah. It's a monster. Oh, that's beautiful. Good job. Thank you. Woo! Alright, look at this guy, guys. He's squirming a little. Check out this guy. Let me see if I can get a nice shot on me. He's got that mouth that's got a hook. You see? Check it out. It's pretty cool. Hopefully he'll live fine. I'm gonna rinse him as quick as possible. There you go. Man, I think I'm gonna have to call it on that note and end it. Uh, I got three here to eat, do a little catch and cook. Do you mind a little company? Or? Oh, I'm actually leaving, so go ahead and take this spot. You're leaving? You had enough? Okay, now you know what? I'm gonna leave it on that last fish. That was a nice one. A good note, and uh, I already got three. Someone gave me, uh, I caught one I was gonna keep, but then I found one floating here that I was gonna die, so I kept that one. And then someone gave me an extra that he had, so. I got three to crack and cook. You, you know, so it'll be fun, it'll be, it's a good day. Having a fun of fresh one. Yep. Like the smoke, that's what I like. Oh yeah, I'm gonna do a lemon uh, butter caper. There you go. Yeah, so that'll be pretty cool and interesting. All right, well, have a great day. I'll, I'll probably see you guys here in a few days again. Well, feeding myself my kitty. Yo, dude, the last one I just caught, it was huge. Nice trap. Well, actually, I only caught one of these, and uh, one was, like, dying and floating, so I caught him. Like, he was, like, dying in the bottom. And then the other guy gave me an extra that he caught. Yeah. So I only really was going to keep one, but I figured, hey, you know what? Just take the limit of three yeah. of this. The last one I just caught, dude, was year. like huge. It had that hooked t mouth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That could have been a holdover. Yeah, maybe. it could have been a holdover, but what I did was I uh, I took a video of it. My, my GoPro. My GoPro ran out of battery, so I took it on this. It's spinning in circles here. All right. What's going on, guys? So I'm done fishing. They just stocked it today. Got a good amount of uh, trout to uh, cook up. 
so it'll be pretty cool. So that's it. So I'll show you what I caught right here. So check this out. Got a good amount right here on my stringer. So hey, um, welcome back to uh, part two of my channel, which is the cook part. So out of the three, this is the first one that I kept and it was the largest one and the meat was very orange. It was cool. It was almost like salmon looking. So that was really cool. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to prepare it by, um, with a little, uh, lemon butter caper sauce. So I got all the ingredients here. I'm going to start putting them out and what I'm going to do is I'm going to prepare the fish, fry it up in this pan with a little olive oil and then prepare the sauce and then just drizzle it on top and then eat it up and uh, it should be pretty good. So I'm going to go ahead and first, uh, prop the fish. So let's start with that. And then as I fry up the fish, I'm going to prepare the sauce. So here we go. I'm going to start up. Start up the fire here. I'm going to have to turn on the vent fan in a little bit, so it's going to be a little noisy, but uh, I don't want my house smelling like oil. <clears throat> so hopefully that's not going to really screw up everything. So I want the flame pretty good, but not too crazy. That. Alrighty. So let me put the camera down. So I'm just going to put a little uh, fillet the, the fillets. One of them I kind of didn't do too well. One of them I was okay. Put a little uh, salt on it. This is pink Himalayan, <laughs> pink Himalayan salt. So it's uh, not processed. Put some uh, peppercorns on it. Not too much, just a little, because the sauce is going to have a lot of flavor already. And I'm going to put some olive oil. Right, so there's a good amount of oil there now. I didn't even have to uh, scale it, but look how pretty the skin is right there. So I'm going to leave, I'm going to put it meat side down first. I'm going to face them all the same way. Put some oil on the side of the pan. Alrighty, back over to the sauce mixture. Alrighty, hopefully that camera angle is okay. So, what you want to do is you want to have some papers. So what I do is I want to put everything in this so I have it all ready to go. I'm going to put about three heaping scoop, scoops. A little more if you want. This is your own personal preference. What I'm going to do is I'm going to crush up like half of them. That kind of like releases that more juices and the flavor, and it makes so when I'm cooking it. But I'll leave some whole, but crush these up like that. And you also want some, you can use fresh lemon, I didn't have any. You want to put like almost like a half a lemon or a whole lemon juice in there, depending on all your personal preference and how much sauce you really want to make. Lastly, you want a nice chunk of butter and the butter should be cold. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put that chunk of butter in there. And on top of the butter, I'm gonna put parsley. I'm gonna put this back in the fridge. Now I'm gonna go ahead and heat up the pan. And I think the fish is ready to flip too. So I'm doing about like three minutes, four minutes on the fish, and then like flip it and do another two to three minutes on the other side. So first in the pan, I'm just gonna heat up a little butter. Over here, I'm going to flip the fish now. Oops, just the thinner piece first. You want to try to not break it and have it stick to the pan. 
This can is getting kind of worn. I probably need a new one. But oh well. There we go. I'll loosen this piece up. Give it a little, a little longer on that side. Flip it. Set another timer for about two minutes. Back over to the sauce. So the butter's now, uh, I want to kind of brown the butter. All right, it's browned now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill the lemon the capers in. Smells really good. Then as that goes, now I'm going to put the lemon juice in. That simmer there. I'm going to put pepper in there. A lot of pepper. I just like a lot of pepper. There we go. A little salt. You could add more salt later if you need. Alright, so what the trick here is, is now you got that going. You shut off the heat on this, and you put this cold chunk of butter in. And that slowly emulsifies as it cools. And that's kind of the trick to have a thick sauce, is you don't want to have it separate the oil. So if you do it like this and you take it off of the heat and you let the butter emulsify slowly, you'll get a nice thick uh, creamy sauce versus like an oily separation. I think the proper term is emulsify. I'm not really sure. Trout's ready. I'm going to shut off the heat and take it off. That's what that looks like over there. It's all done. I'm going to put that plate that up. And still, we got the sauce to uh, finish up. You want to keep moving the sauce so it doesn't, uh, so it emulsifies and it melts good. Wow, the meat looks really good. It reminds me of like salmon meat. All right, so this sauce is basically done now. Let's move it over here. Yep. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and. Uh, because of the sauce, so I'll just slop it on. <laughs> but there you, you get the idea. I'm gonna try out some right now. Get some uh, capers on it. Chunk here. Hopefully there's no bones in it. I think I filleted most of it pretty well. It's so good, it tastes, it tastes like salmon for real, the meat. Tasty. I feel like there's a lot of omegas in this or something. Anyway, I'm gonna finish eating this whole thing. So it's so good and get a drink. And uh, hope you enjoyed this cooking part. If you like this, uh, please thumbs up it. Comment if you have any questions about the cooking or the fishing or whatever. And um, thanks for watching. And subscribe to my channel if you want more future uh, fishing, cooking, whatever content, and let me know. Talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching.